Greetings, Daniel Perceto for Adobe Photoshop and a Creative Cloud update here. 3D printing within Photoshop. You can access the 3D printing features under the 3D menu, 3D print settings, which will take you directly to the properties panel and you'll see an array of options. 3D print, which will begin the repair process and take you to the 3D print dialog. Cancel 3D print, 3D print utilities, which will give you an array of options of calibrating the plate, change or load filament if you have a printer directly loaded to Photoshop. And in this case, we're supporting MakerBot 2, 2X, out of the box there. And let's go ahead and have a look. You can also access the 3D print settings under the 3D menu, select Scene. You will so that see that the properties changes to show you the 3D print settings. So you click that tab. You'll notice that the canvas changed to the appropriate selection of the printer here. In this case, it's a MakerBot 2. If I had selected a Z Corp printer, it would be in color because you can print color sandstone from the Z Corp printers. We're going to go ahead and show you that we currently support out of the box for version 1.0 here of this feature. 3D Systems Cube, you can export a file, put on SD card and, and put it on the machine. You can go through and connect a MakerBot Replicator 2 directly to your computer and Photoshop will recognize it, the 2X as well, and this Z Corp printer. You can also export to STL if you want to put it in a, you know, a website, you know, Shapeway, Sculpio, or whatever. But we're going to start with the MakerBot 2 here. Oh, before I do that, I should probably say, hey, you can actually print two Shapeways. You can prepare a model, for example. You can select that and choose from a variety of options. I'm going to break these videos out. We'll get to that one next. And right now we're going to go with a local printer because that seems to be a pretty exciting thing, right? And I'm going to choose a MakerBot 2. And you'll see I'm printing local to the MakerBot 2. I'm pretending it's connected. I don't have one connected here right now. I'm going to use inches. You can go through centimeters, millimeters, whatever you're comfortable, comfortable with. The detail level can be set as well. This is how detailed you want your object to be printed. You may want to choose low if you're iterating quickly and you're kind of prefabbing something, kind of trying to see what it's like and you're trying to save time. You may want to choose that option. I'm going to leave it there now for uh, just making this a little more quickly. You can show the printer volume. If I zoom out of here, you will see this is the volume of the area of the printer that it has available space. In this case, you can see this, this is a pretty big area. I'm kind of make my model bigger here. I'm just going to say scale to the print volume. And there you go. It's now using more of that space within, in this case, the MakerBot 2. And you can change the volume here as well. You can, mac you can set it to whatever you want. I mean, the max volume is right there, so you can't go beyond that. Surface detail. If I'm using normal maps, bump maps, or opacity maps on this model, Photoshop will create the geometry to support that detail in your model. When it goes to repair, it'll burn in, or it'll bake in, rather, the bump maps or the normal map geometry into that model. If you have opacity maps, it'll create a hole for that model. And again, I'll show you that at another video. Now support structures in this case, you can say, we want to check both of these here. You can use a raft, which basically creates something on the bottom here that supports um, the geometry when it's being built. And scaffolding as well as a structure is like scaffolding. You've seen the buildings on the sides of building. It's support structures that'll show you um, if something is too far, you know, you know, at 45 degree angle, you're going to need something for it to actually build upon here in the air. And I'll detail that in another video as well. Trying to go through this pretty quickly here. I'm going to go ahead and say repair this model for me and it's going to unify the scene. Now what basically it's doing right now, it's creating new geometry slices and taking the materials, baking them into one. It's repairing any holes, defects. Um, it's doing an amazing amount of work right now in a fairly short period of time, even though it seems like it's taking a long time. See it's generating scaffolding, it's doing all this great stuff. We're almost there. How much more do I have to wait? I have to talk through this whole thing. I don't know. I could just cheat and cut the video. Oh, nope, I don't have to. So there you go. You can see in this case that this is the raft. I'm going to take it out here. There's the raft. And, and something like this, I don't even use a raft because I don't think there's going to be a big problem with it falling to pieces. So I'm going to turn that off. Scaffolding, you can see I'll turn it on and off. These are support structures that are built. This is something that Photoshop does automatically to help with the printing process. And you can see here the time for this model, it's a seven inch by three inch basically and six inch model with scaffolding will be about 10 hours and 22 minutes at that size on the MakerBot 2. 
So that's a pretty impressive uh, print right there that's going to be there. And that is the gist of it right now. I'll do more videos in detail some of these other features. And you can feel free to ask questions. And that is it for now.